Welcome Mariners, I'm Captain Scott Souders from Chicago Yacht Academy and today I'm going to be discussing lights in the night. Talking about how boats are lit, how we see them at night, what distinguishes a powerboat from a sailboat from other vessels. With no further ado, let's jump right in. If we're going to study the lights on the boat, we'll start with the boat itself. It needs to be visible from all 360 degrees. Accordingly, I'm showing you this bird's eye view, but also want you to see how it would appear out on the water. So take a look on the left, I've got your port side. Center is the bow view, starboard and stern working our way clockwise. The first lights we're gonna look at are the navigation lights or running lights. These are gonna be the red and greens up front. So on the port side, we've got our red light coming in at 112 and a half degrees. Notice that it goes past the middle marker. In fact, it goes about 22 and a half degrees abaft the beam. On the starboard side, we're going to see it's reciprocal in green. This is 112 and a half degrees as a green colored light. Coming in at the stern, we have a white light showing 135 degrees. This vessel is now visible regardless of which angle you look at it. This is one of the most simple vessels that we can light, and it is one that is not creating its own power. This is a sailboat. Out on the water, this sailboat might look something like this. It's worth mentioning that this is a sailboat under sail. A sailboat that has its engine on and in gear must represent itself as a powerboat. If we were to see this sailboat under sail work its way across the horizon, we would only see a single red light as we looked at its port side. Just seeing its starboard work its way across the horizon, we would see a single green light for this sailboat under sail. At the stern, all we're going to see is a single white light. We'll talk more about this single white light, but it's important to identify it as the stern light and that we give way to this light. If you remember, at the very top of our coal rigs is a vessel that is being overtaken. Many vessels will show a single white light at the stern, from power vessels to sailing vessels to vessels constrained by draft, and that's because regardless of how you approach these different types of vessels, if you see that single white light, you know that you are in the overtaking sector, which means that you must take early and ample action to keep well clear. Just as this vessel does and works its way around after seeing that single white light. From the bow of this sailboat under sail, we would see the combination of both green and red lights as we look straight on at it. A power driven vessel has another light, it has a masthead light also known as a steaming light, identifying it as different from a sailing vessel. This masthead light runs 225 degrees and is forward facing. It would appear on the water to look something a little bit like this. So we're gonna see both those red and green lights as well as that white light when we look at it forward facing. The U.S. Coast Guard has said that we can replace the forward-facing mast headlight and the aft-facing stern light with an all-around 360 light for vessels that are less than 12 meters. Accordingly, you've probably seen ski boats or pontoon boats that might look like this. Sometimes all you get is just like a little stick light that you'll place in the back. But it does work as both the forward-facing mast light and the aft-facing stern light. This power-driven vessel, as it moves across the horizon, is going to show both that white and green on its starboard side. As a power boater, when I see this white over green light, I think green means go. I'm the stand-on vessel because I'm to starboard. Take a look at this bird's eye view again. If I'm on the vessel that's pulling into the screen, the perspective that I'll see is that white on green. The vessel that pulled up is the one to starboard. Starboard over port is the stand-on, while the larger vessel that we see here, straight down, that would be the giveaway vessel. Inversely, if I bring another boat in from the left side of the screen, they would see red underneath white. To me, 
as a power boater, when I see white over red, red means stop. Now, the boat that pulled in, or the boat that I'm saying that I'm on, uh, is the giveaway vessel and must take early and ample action to keep well clear. As that port side of the boat moves across the horizon, it's going to look a little bit more like this. Again, red means stop for me as a power boater when I see this white over red lighting. To look at this boat head on, we're going to see three lights. That green and red running light as well as that steaming light. From the stern, we're again just going to see that single white light. We're going to assume that we're overtaking and we are going to give way to a single white light. This is because a single white light isn't exclusively used for a stern light. A single white light can also represent a vessel at anchor that is less than 50 meters. These vessels should show an all around 360 degree white light. A boat that is at anchor is incapable of moving out of the way. Accordingly, when we see that single white light, we'll just assume we're overtaking and give way to this vessel that cannot give way on its own right. This makes it all more important to show that single white light at night. It would be a shame if you anchored and had your running light still on and somehow misrepresented your vessel as one that could get out of the way of others. This is a container ship and you'll notice it is lit as a power boat should be. It has both red and green side lights as well as that forward facing 225 degree white masthead light. However, this can be a little bit tricky because this vessel is larger than 50 meters and you'll notice all of the lights are lit at the back of the boat. We need a way to see size. Accordingly, this boat will get another forward facing masthead light at 225 degrees. Its nickname is a range light. This range light helps give us some perspective as to how big the vessel is. Moving across the horizon, it might look a little something like this. Note the steaming light, as well as the green side light, but then up front you can see the larger uh, vessel through that range light. Don't worry, these boats are usually a little bit more lit than just this. You'll see deck lights on or interior lights. These guys really want to be seen, and that's because they move quite quickly. Some container ships can top up to 20 knots, and so while it looks like a large island slowly moving in the distance, they are moving quite quickly and we need to give them their space. Sometimes these larger vessels are lit up way more than just this. Cruise ships almost look like floating Christmas trees moving their way across. You'll squint closely, try and find a stern light, or, or maybe, God, there should be a starboard light in here somewhere, but I don't know. It's very clear where this boat is going, how big it is, and while it does have the legally prescribed lights, all we need to know is that it's big, it's going places, and as recreational boaters, it's important for us to go around it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and you've learned a little bit more about how to identify boats at night. It's worth mentioning that we turn on our lights anytime that it is night. This means that from sunset to sunrise, we're going to be turning on the lights on our vessels. We're also going to use them during times of low visibility. So things like rain and heavy fog, anything that might make it more difficult to maintain a safe speed, we're going to turn our lights on. With that idea of a safe speed, make sure that you are reducing your speed if you're unsure of what you might be seeing out there. It's better to slow down than to find out too late. If you're interested in learning more about Chicago Yacht Academy and joining us for one of our on the water classes, please check the description below. I've also linked in some of my favorite quick guides to helping you identify some of the light patterns that we haven't discussed in this video. Until then, I'll see you out on the water.